Hi everyone, this is Hannah Tiger and welcome back to my channel. If today is your first day, you're welcome. If you've been before and you're back again, thank you for coming again. If you're new, please consider subscribing. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a very simple cow calf turn. So let's get started. As you can see from the video, I folded the fabric into two and I folded it again, making four. So I will be cutting both the front panel and the back panel, everything at the same time. I will start with the neck. So I'll be taking three inches for the neck depth and four inches for the width of the neck. I'll repeat again, I'm taking 3 inches for the neck depth and for the neck width, I'm going to be taking 4 inches. So I'm going to be curving, having a round neck. So I'm just going to be curving it out like that. Round neck is the best for this type of caftan. So the next thing now is to draw my hip line and my knee line. So for the hip line, I'm going to take 24 inches. So I'll be measuring that from the shoulder line right to my hip line, which is 24. Then I'll do the same round so I can get um, a straight line. Why I'm making these markings, I want to say the whole fabric in length is 120 inches and the width is 70. So the dress length is 59 and the extra 1 inch basically is for the same allowance at the edge. So I'm using a total length of 120 and the width is 70 inches. So next year, I'm going to be measuring the knee line. Guys, the, my knee is 40, but I'm coming up by 3 inches. So I'm taking 37 inches for my knee line. I'm not measuring exactly where my knee is. I'm measuring above my knee. And above my knee is 37 inches. So make sure you come up so you're able to walk in your caftan. So that's 37 instead of 40. I'll repeat again. My lean length is 40 minus 3 inches. So I'm taking 37 from the shoulder to above my knee. All you need majorly for this task is your hip line and your knee line the length of the dress as well and that's it so now I'll be adjusting the fabric and getting ready to take 10 inches for my sleeve I'll be taking 10 inches for that for the opening of my sleeve so guys that's what I'm doing so I'm making that mark in and I'm not going to be, you know, measuring any boss line or nothing. I'm just going to connect from that sleeve line. I'm going to connect it to the hip and above my knee area. So here, guys, I'm going to be transferring the hip measurement and seam allowance on the knee line instead of the hip line. Can you see that I'm on the knee line? So my hip measurement is 44 divided by 4, which is 11. Then I'm going to add half an inch for ease, then 1 inch for sewing allowance. So I've got a total of 12 and a half inches there. That's 12 and a half. So I'm going to go from there and make a curve right up to the sleeve area. So watch me as I make this curve. Make sure your curve is not too pointy. Make it a bit 
curvy there especially at that point make it a bit curvy not pointy so it gives you that nice finish to your kaftan so you're gonna take it right up to that you know line sleeve line that so after doing that I'm gonna go right down like that from that line remember that 12.5 inches which is my hip circumference so I'm gonna take it down from my knee line right down to the length of the dress which is 60 like I said 60 inches the one inch is the same allowance and the kaftan itself is 59 inches in length so you're gonna connect it like that and use a ruler and make the line very straight just straighten it up like that so the next stage will be to be cotton you know to cut the old dress out so I'm going to start from the neck area. Very careful when cutting. If you need to lift it up, you're free to do that. Make sure you cut it very smoothly. And I'll carry on cutting the rest of the kaftan. All you need to do is stitch down all the way around. Don't stitch down the sleeve area and make sure you stitch in the wrong side, not the right side, guys. I'll be cutting a facing for the neck. You need a facing, you can use a bias or you can just stitch it down like that. But on this occasion, I cut my facing, then applied an interfacing. Some people call it the gum stay. So I applied it and stitched it down the neck all the way around. Here we are. So that's our kaftan. Beautiful, elegant, classy. And you can't just fault it, can you? So you can make this yourself at the comfort of your home. Get in the right fabric. No hassle, guys. It was so easy to make. You can make this within the twinkle of an eye. In 30 minutes, you make this and you're ready to, you know, slay that occasion or party. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you give this a try and let me know. If you do give it a try, leave a comment down below. Like, share this video and don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video. Till then, guys. Bye for now.